All right, so again, yeah, you always make the altar on the side where you want to creep. Uh -huh. You want to creep this first, you put it on the right side, and then the first peasant that comes out, you start a farm. You Like, you don't make the farm only for a very short time and then make barracks. I think you need, like, 69 hit points. It's okay. You know, maybe, like, two seconds. Maybe, yeah, like, yes. one, it's, two, it's three quickly. hits or whatever, and then, like, you make then you make the barracks. Because otherwise, right. your, your hero will be delayed a little bit. Okay. So then the next one that comes out will build that farm. And this is like, again, the important part. The next one that comes out will go to gold for a little bit to get a little bit of extra gold. Then you make the farm. So rally yeah. straight into the gold. One, two, three, four, five, six ish. Six or five, I guess, is enough. Sometimes I do a little bit more. Then you make the farm. And then send back the next peasant to gold so that you have five as soon as possible. And after that, everything's going to be on the woods. And how do you know that the hero is going to 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 be born in the outside of the base? So if you just like, yeah. When you do rally points, they kind of work like in the four corners of the altar, I think. So if okay. I put like a rally point around here, it's gonna come here on the top right hand side. Okay. And then if you put something on the bottom right, they will come here on the bottom right. So to avoid them coming out inside, I think if you put a rally point here. Mm. Uh, near the lab maybe the it's hero will come out under so now what i do mm. is i press shift and then i right click here you see where my cursor is right above the altar mm -hmm. and then I, I while i keep pressing shift i right click again here so my hero will do this go here and then go there so you can mm, shift yeah. rally point you can shift movement and you can shift rally points as well so this is very important to never get stuck because sometimes i close my base as well so if i would get stuck this is very bad yeah yeah that's why i'm asking because it already occurred to me yeah yeah perfect okay so like this is something you need to practice on uh every map pretty much yeah yeah like uh same on echo if you perfect wall like your hero almost for sure is going to come inside if you rally directly to the camp you want to creep so yeah yeah it happens. right click here and then Right click here to make sure you pop out on the right side and then right click there. Okay, okay. Right, that then. part, yeah, yep. Yeah, 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 right. Go ahead. go ahead. No, no, that part, I, I think that I, I I know how to do it pretty well. Yeah. Besides the, the hero stuff that I need to 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 learn a little bit, bit more. Yeah. And the and the second farm as well, it's it's uh it's new for me. And now it's just like you have just like third wood and you just go ahead and, and make the, the third farm. Yeah, so this is very important. I used to make the third farm on uh, 22 or something, which I think is too late. I think 19 is much better. And this is again, something that I learned watching uh, in or TH. So you make the third farm on, on 19. You don't have to make it all the way there. Like I just kind of like to have a little bit of extra vision. So I make it outside, but yeah, 19 is a good number because now you see by the time my footman finishes, I'm going to be able to make one more. Then I'll be able to make one more peasant and I, I won't get supply blocked when I reach 24 out of 24. Okay. I, I do a little bit earlier, just like uh, I I reach the like, third wood and Th just make it right away. It's too early. Third what? Wood. Uh, yeah, yeah. You should make it at 19. There is no reason to make it before, I think. Okay. 19 supply. Losing. So yeah, you have your first... Uh, sorry, second footman on the way already. And then, so like when your hero is at like 98% and he's going to go already like where you know he's going to go, that's when you call militia to go there. So they're shortly behind your Archmage. Okay. So this perfect. is the, the good timing, I think. So write that down, like 95 to 98% hero to finish. You, you. Okay. And same thing for militia. So it's good to have them in the control group. I have them in control group number two in the start of the game. So mm -hmm. I already have five militia, like long in advance. And then when I see my hero is like close to finishing, I press number two. And then I keep yeah. shift pressed. Actually, no, I press I press the hotkey for militia first. And, and then, then I shift keep, and I click keep where pressed, they need to go. And then I right click here because I, I want them to move here. Okay. And then here to creep that camp, I'm going to sit there with the militia and footmen around me. And I'm going to click on this unit and then I'm going to put everything on this. And I found a pretty nice trick to make sure that they don't, it doesn't use the purge on your water elemental. I'm going to put the yeah. water elemental on move command next to these two guys. So you okay, see perfect. They come in to the renegades. 
The Renegades comes to the Arc Mage, and then you yeah. in, then you invoke the Water Elemental and put everything on the on the uh, the bigger creep. Yeah, but yeah, it's very important you don't attack the ro the two rogues with your militia because otherwise uh, they might you might use lightning you shield. Up. And also, you don't want your your Water Elemental to get purged. And the best way to do that is that after you summon it, mm -hmm. you press Move Commands and you Move Command it next to the rogue, but they need to be next okay. to each other, and then. You see, the Water Elemental is not even going to attack. And that makes it so that there is zero chance that it's going to get purged. Like, never okay. ever will, will it get purged when you do that, because it's not even attacking. And then once that guy is dead, the one that could purge, then you can start attacking. All right. I didn't know that. Did, yeah, that is, is new as well. Yeah, yeah. It also works. Really uh, I do the same on, on uh, Tyrannus. Yeah, I saw it, but uh, I, the, the, the times that I did it, I I make the water elemental to attack as well, and nothing happened. Yeah. But I, if you are saying just like it's not 100% of the time, I I'm just going to uh, just move it in and yeah. tell it to to be stopped. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> so here I delayed my footman, but I'm supposed to be on 27. So I want you to take at 27. I think it's better. I mean now it's 25 just because I skipped that footman for a little bit. So I don't know. I think I'm still gonna get it. Maybe a mistake. But yeah, 27 out of 30, you take. And that should mean, like, you, you can just count your amount of footmen to make sure that you get it right, or like, you can just look at the supply as well. So yeah, I have three footmen out already, and I got the fourth one on the way usually to be at, on 27. And that means that I have uh, nine peasant on wood, which is ideal when you take on one base. Okay, uh, so that would be just the three uh, that you use to do the farm, the barracks, and the and the the altar plus five is something like that, that that you need to. Yeah, yeah. You make sure that you have nine on woods on top of the five on gold. All right. And now this is I actually yeah, I skipped the fourth footman this game. I think it's it's a little bit more advanced. It's because I want to save my gold for rifles basically. But yeah, now, after you have these three farms, you don't need to spam footmen. So if you get the fourth footman, that will be the last one that you ever make, because you want to save your gold to be able to make rifles. You don't make... Okay. If, you made, if you go rifle and you make seven footmen before, you've made a mistake, I think. So you need to okay. make sure that you... The yeah, that, the, that. <laughs> the first 60 wood that you have after you've teched, you start your blacksmith immediately. You don't wait. The first 60 All right. wood. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that that's it's just a thing that I I was doing wrong. I just like I just like doing just like six or seven foot footmen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, no. All right. You need to save the money. All right. And then after that, you can already start. I like to get two farms more because even if you're 27 out of 30, you're gonna have to make rifles, which are three supply. And then as soon as your tier two finishes and you take somewhat fast with this, you're gonna want to start your second hero immediately. If yeah. you delay any of that, all of that can be uh, details that will matter a lot in the long run. Okay, yeah, that that makes sense. So you just do just do just like two farms straight. Yeah, I do like one here right now, and then I will probably make one more in a bit. So at least two farms more when, when, after you're taking. So yeah, remember after a tech, blacksmith, then one farm, then one farm, and then you right. wait until the blacksmith finishes. I don't think you need to make it with two uh, peasants. I think one is enough because it will cost you more gold otherwise. And now you see I have a lot of gold saved. I can immediately queue two rifles. Yeah, and, yeah. And when I reach tier two, I will still be able to start second hero immediately, even though second hero is pretty expensive. It's 500, so. Yeah, yeah, no, that that's, that that's makes sense. Yeah, so now, because I had very quick level three, which is kind of the way you want to do it, I went across yeah, the map and I, and I tried to steal one of his camp and I'm trying to pressure a little bit, but obviously against yeah, Fiends but you... It is, yeah, exactly, but this is not a normal scenario because it is the otherwise that, that used to happen. They just like go to harass you. Yeah, uh, I mean... Or, he, or... Yeah, no, if he had been on me, it would have been harder to creep, like creep this, for example, but then I can still do this with just uh, militia and stuff. But yeah, on most maps you won't get level 3 very easily, but it doesn't matter, like, you're just still trying to get it. While, remember, you always save the second base for your MK. That will be only for your MK. On any map. Oh, okay. Northern Isle, Last Refuge, I don't care. Like, Amazonia. So now, okay, because I'm already level 3 and like, getting level 4 doesn't really matter, I'm trying to stop him from getting level 3 too easily. So okay. I'm pressuring a lot. 
And then now I started MK. As soon as I reach tier 2. And the other thing is you get Arcane Sanctum. So first priority is Mountain King. Then you get Arcane Sanctum if you have the, the, the gold and wood for it. Like sometimes the games are going to be played pretty aggressively. A very important detail is that if you take some damage on some peasants, they should be mining gold instead of wood. Because then if you, you call militia, it will be with peasants from wood. So you should swap them out as much as possible. So okay. remember that. And uh, yeah, like just before finishing tier 2, it's nice to start a lumber mill because you're going to go for expo and you're not going to have that much wood because you need to get Arcane Sanctum with two peasants. So yeah, just before tier 2, get a lumber mill. And then when tier 2 finish, first priority is always Mountain King and then immediately after that, Arcane Sanctum. Thank you for the host back to Warcraft. Much appreciated. Okay, perfect, guys. perfect. And it, it, it's uh, for the, the MK, it's always the expansions. It, it's the first uh, creep that that you that do. Yeah, exactly. Always. And like, you want to try to time it so that when you see the MK is on like 95%, you do the same thing as with the Archmage Rally Point. You shift click here and then you shift click to the expands. And then you send militia along the way, like five militia. It depends on your woods. Like basically, when your MK is about to come out, one thing you need to pay a lot of attention to is how much wood you have. And this is also very important. Your Arcane Sanctum should always be made with at least two peasants. And if you have enough wood, like in this game, I got a decent amount right now. I would, listen, mm -hmm. I would even say like maybe three or maybe four. Okay. Especially okay. if you forgot about it for a little bit, which can happen sometimes because you're busy somewhere on the map. And, uh, I okay, like getting boots and why, a lot, by the way. And, and why is that? Why, why you need to, to, to do it so... So early, because you need like to get not, priests not out like very quickly. Because priests are super important to like keep everything alive, help you creep, and always have your units at, at like full hit points. And especially okay. on like this map, like you will need that for the expo. But yeah, I like to get boots. I think after you creep level two, like depending on the map, if there is a shop nearby, it's always nice to grab boots. You have extra gold anyway because you don't make that many footmen. All right, all right. So it's and it's still important to get farms here. You see, like. Even though I'm going to go for expands and I have 37 out of 42, I'm already still making one more farm because I know that I'm going to reach 42 very easily. That's one more yeah. rifle and then one priest and then I have 42. And I might need to make more peasants depending on how my woods is going. And I also okay. like getting the wood upgrades, but maybe not necessarily right now. Like right now, look at my golden woods. I'm very close to being able to start a tunnel. So by the time I've cracked my expo, I'm going to have the correct economy for, for that. Yeah, so now, I think now, this is going to be squared, yeah. Now you see, I paid a lot of attention to when my MK was going to come out. I pressed the hotkey for Altar a bunch of times, and then I saw MK was about to finish. So I ran across the map with everything, and I'm going to put everything on this expo. Uh, oh yeah, like so if you don't have Archmage level 3 yet, then you creep still with the Archmage. Like, okay, the but, moment, but he, the he, moment he, Archmage yeah. stops taking experience is the moment he gets level 3, but you still need to get level 3 before that, I think. Okay, okay. But uh, if the Archmage, Archmage already have the, the num uh, level 3, it's, it's only the you're going to creep only with the yeah. MK? Yeah, yeah. All right. Like, it, it doesn't matter when it happens. If it's here at the expo, if it's before, you keep creeping with the Archmage up until he has level 3. Once he has level 3 and your MK is out, your, your Archmage is not supposed to take the experience up until the Mountain King is level 3. All right. This Perfect. is very important. Okay, and uh, you're going to stay just like with uh, one Arcane Sanctum and one Barracks, or you're going to build uh, a second Barracks as well? If you wait, Upper. if you wait, I'll tell you. <laughs> sorry, sorry, let's go sorry. in the order. So, yeah, yeah. when you creep uh, on a lot of maps, like let's say for example, like Northern Isle or Last Refuge, there is a creep on the X band that like can cast spells or like Bloodlust or something. So I like to wait yeah. until MK is there and then stonewall that creep so that, for example, on the last refuge, he, he's not going to cast Bloodlust because then he dies before that. But on this map, the creeps are very strong, they ensnare. I like to come in with everything as like one big wave. So now I'm okay. waiting for Militia and then once everything is there, I'm going to go in with everything at once. And usually okay. like here, I throw stonewall anyway because my mana is already regening. You're almost never going to get attacked here. And even if you do, it's still fine because you take out this camp very quickly. You get a strong item. Okay. Yeah. So I get Perfect. a pretty good item here with the greater healing. Mountain King is straight to level two. And you see, like here, I always like to macro very well, like start rifles and priests. But a lot of the time, if I can't start my tunnel immediately, maybe I'll cancel one rifle. 
because like one more rifle won't do so much anyway and then i'm like i need to you need to start an expansion right now like this is still it's super early in the game like my yeah, mk yeah. just came out i crept this and i'm already gonna make a second base like this is crazy fast you see okay. like he's, he's all of the dead he's still close to finishing because he's taking super fast but it's still a very good timing now now you like you want to go creep for level three on this map it's not super easy i need to go for the cam down there it's nice to keep a little bit of vision here around the center because I have no idea where he is. You know, if I send everything down there and I don't see him coming and he shows up there and he, and he nukes everything, it's going to be very bad for me. And he tries to sneak some skeletons around, actually, which luckily I saw, so I'm going to be able to defend against that. And even ends up catching some rifles. So this was kind of bad for me. It's because, like, he read super well what was happening with the expo and he's a good player, but I think most players, they won't even react to this that well. Yeah, yeah. And if you have Enough. any rings and stuff, you always give them to the MK. Okay. Yeah. Uh, until now, that everything is, is uh, makes sense for me. Yeah. Uh, but for example, in some match that that I watch your stream or whatever, have playing or another, again, I'm not comparing. Okay, I'm a completely noob here. Uh, just like uh, sometimes uh, the the human tries tries to to expand right away at the beginning. It's yeah. different this game that you're showing me, but but that that's okay. We can see that uh, that later as well. Yeah, but I told you like uh, you said you like to play rifle, so I told you you're gonna do tier two expand with a rifle. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, you're correct. Sorry. I think this style is better than uh, the other one. It's better than going tier three a lot of the time. Like it has its flaws too, but uh, it's also Why? if you yeah. if you're not very good with expand, this is gonna be better for you, especially if you've been playing rifles until now. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. So the priority, like right now we're fighting and it's kind of crazy, but you're going to want to get three priests in a row and you never stop producing priests until you have your three. This is super important. And after you have three priests, you're going to research the adept training for them. Oh, so it's just, just after three then? Yeah. yeah. I, I used to just like do one priest and, and just search. No, no, no. You want three outs and then you get the training for them. Now the goal of this strategy is to expand super fast. And then okay. after that, when you expand like this, a lot of undeads, they're going to grab a Dark Ranger and push you. So when my expo is like on the way, if I have the economy for it, or like shortly after it's finished, you're going to mm -hmm. get a second barracks. And then you're going to oh, stay okay. on 50 for a very short time. And then ideally, you're going to be on 50 supply with three priests and a bunch of rifles. And then whenever okay. you want to break up keep, you're going to be able to make two rifles by two and one sorceress by one in the Arcane Sanctum. And like your goal is to do like the three priests and rifles and then many more rifles and then three sorceress. Okay, perfect. And uh, no upgrades? Uh, no, you will get it after, but you, I will it tell you after. the order. All right, yeah. okay, okay. So now we just end up fighting a bunch. So like this game is a, uh, most Sundays they will creep maybe a little bit more than this, but here he wanted to play aggressive. So I, I oblige, I just fought. And see, I'm getting the wood upgrade now because I had to pull militia, yeah. and I know I'm gonna like wood. And for example, this this map you're just like in the middle of the map. So uh, even though you're in the middle of the map, you, you seek fight. You do, you, you uh, don't run from from him. No, no, I told you like I wanted to go creep this, but then he sent skeletons here, and then he showed up on top here. So I had a lot of mana on my MK. So if he wants to fight. I'm getting. Yeah, like, yeah, that, that, that's, I'm not that, taking to tier three. Okay. Even though I'm expanding, I can still fight because I have rifles. In this game, I actually had the wood. Like sometimes you do this build and you won't have much wood, but in this game, I actually had the wood to get rifle range as well. So if he wants yeah. to fight, I'm fine. Like I can stumble to a lot of fiends and try and kill a bunch of stuff. Maybe even his death knight. Because this is a timing where he didn't have orb. If he had orb now, it would be very different. But it's too early for him to have orb. But now I know okay. that Daddy went home. He's gonna have orb the next time we fight. Okay, so now perfect. I'm gonna creep to try and get MK level three or at least a little bit closer, and I, and then I have to start from scratch. I think I might have lost one of my priests, so I have to remake a bunch. So the second one is on the way, and as soon as I have the wood here, this is super important. You should not de delay this. Do you see? Like I could make some rifle, but I'm like, no, I need to make some some one more barrack at least. And now will be the timing where you get plus one attack when you have the woods. Like with human, you're always gonna have some wood problems, so that's why. I'm working on that now, I'm making some peasants on wood, but when you are on 50 and you have the second racks on the way, that's when you get the plus one attack. And that's going to help you so much because then you're going to make rifles with that extra upgrade. 
under attack. So now I kind of leave my okay. expo alone for a little bit. I know that even if he sends something there to kill peasants, it's like not the end okay. of the world because I'm creeping some important level. I'm gonna get level three on MK, and I might get. I think I'm gonna get level four on the Archmage. So I just sent a few rifles to defend, and I see him coming there. Okay. So very important okay. if you can at this stage because you will. You see how fast I expanded, right? I have a lot of gold. You get yeah, one yeah. invul and maybe a heal, heal scroll. In this game, I was able to get that before I went there. Then I just end up tipping in the back. He goes for my hero, but I had the uh, creator healing anyway that I can transfer. Like this is very important here. Your micro, you're gonna have to work very hard on it because it can be improved so much from like everybody, even like pro players. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of players, their micro like very wrong here. Like the more practice you have, the more smooth it's gonna be. Like right now I'm chasing a fiend that has frost armor. Maybe I should switch to this target here because this is the closest, this fiend here in the middle, for example. I should have some units here kind of defending against the ghouls and I did that with the rifles. And I'm sending a few militia. Look at my wood, I can afford to do that. I sent the ones that were like somewhat healthy. Thank you uh, for the hope, that's not. No, it's always like, you don't have much time to ask yourself what you're gonna target. You just have to decide right now, right this moment. So like, yeah, what, yeah, what do you yeah. do? Do you go for Death Knight? I think, generally speaking, the best unit you can go for here is the Fiends. Because even though he has Death Call, you still have some strong firepower because you have a lot of Priests, you have Water Elemental, you have Archmage and MK. And yeah, also you go Bash with this, you never go Clap. So it's like uh, Bolt, Bash, Bolt, Bash. You don't get Clap okay. at all. Because you don't have okay. the mana for it. Yeah, when, when I usually when I, when I play it, it's just like... Uh... I got, I just get, I got just like ripped because, uh, you got what I, 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 I just like, I just got, uh, trampled. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, uh, it, no matter what, if, if, if I just like target fiends, they have the coil and yeah, even though yeah. I just like, yeah. And just like, it, it doesn't work for Yeah. Me. But coil but, is not infinite. Yeah. It might seem like it, but. And also, if you have yeah. enough units, you still... Sometimes he's going to miss the coil because your target is going to be so good. He's going to throw the coil and while it's in the air, the fiend's going to die. It's, and it's... you're just like fox fired in, in a... Yeah, you need to be effective though. Like, And the whole point of getting this spell is that you can remove not only skeletons, but also frost armor. But you need to be ah, effective. Okay. Like, Right now, if I chase this fiend all running away it's too far, it's going to be bad for me because in the meantime, the leech with orb is doing a lot of damage to my backline, my priest and everything. And now, yeah. if he played a very aggressive game, like I said, most undeads, they will creep a lot more. And then you're going to be able to get your three priests, you're going to be able to get this spell, and it's going to be easier. But now he's actually doing a lot of damage. Okay. So now you see a switch target to the closest fiend that was to my army. He does get the death call, but this is, he's only going to have one more for a very long time here. Militia finally came in. He brought his ghouls here to try and do damage to my peasants, and he ended up losing them. This is very bad for him, because he's not going to have any wood behind this. Okay. And when Undead starts running like this, I always consider whether you should be chasing or not. Now it's like, well, I don't need to. I can just regroup here and be careful. And then you see, like, with Brilliance, you're going, always going to have some more bolts on the way. Especially, like, the longer time your expansion is going to run, the better for you. Right now I'm making rifles two by two. And I'm finally going to have the Dispel on my Priest. Okay. And you, and you don't go upkeep yet. You're oh no! no like you, right if you're now. getting pushed, yeah, you do. With this kind, with oh. this strategy, you break up keep very quickly. Like okay. you stay on 50 up until you have like I don't know 500 gold, and then you already make two rifles and one sorceress. Okay. And then you, now you see, he put everything on the archmage, but then I had greater healing, and he just tapped out. He was out of mana. He wasn't breaking my expo, and I was mining way too much. After this fight, yeah. if he has to pull back, I'm gonna have like 80 supply, and then yeah. he lost. Uh, yeah, yeah. No call. You not know anything. Yeah. Yeah, the the game was yours. Yeah. Okay, can you come on Binet? Um, come on Europe, and then you're gonna host a game, and then you're gonna play against like computer, and then just practice the build. Yeah. Okay. Uh, custom game. I'm already on Europe. It's going to be Dot Five. That's what. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. I make a Amazonia with with Observer. Remember to put. Okay.
then we will see like how you did you take a lot of notes of like the important stuff no like, but uh, it, it is it is re recording okay, everything yeah. so yeah just to be i faster. think it might be good to write on a paper or in a drive file though the exact order of like man you have no idea how i, I was prepared for <laughs> to, yeah. uh, to this man just like uh, uh yeah after tier two uh 60 woods blacksmith you know and then when tier two finish or like just before tier two lumber mill tier two finish mountain king then arcane sanctum i think it's very good to write this on the paper yeah just like to, to yeah to i have a, i have a very bad memory so i write everything on papers now and then i put it on my no. laptop you know at the bottom or, so, or uh, sorry on my computer i, I just like just like i spreadsheet yeah. with all the potential because it's a lot of stuff you know i i have I I know that it's just like uh, one hour is just like nothing to learn the game. Nothing. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Put a computer against you. Put, make it e make it easy so that he doesn't bother you. It's just about you doing the build. We don't care about him. And then okay. give him undead, I guess, so like it's somewhat realistic. All right. Let's okay. go. I think your altar maybe is a little bit too high, but it's not the end of the world. On, but no, on the right it, side, it, on the right side, yeah. yeah, there is a hole. No, the, that that's good. Just go and tell me everything that uh, it, yeah. it's the tiny things, but it makes difference. Yeah, but it's also I think hard to speak and play at the same time, so I don't want to bother you too much. No. So the rally point should be just like here, as you told me. Uh, I can see your cursor, but right now your rally point uh, should be on gold. Yeah, 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 it yeah. is. And then what, you count one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, yeah. six, yeah. Yeah, and Perfect. just like... Yeah, so the rally point of your altar, you press your right, top right of it, and then on the right side. And you keep yeah, yeah. shift pressed. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, you start your hero a bit late. Like, this is very important to keep pressing AAA as soon as, like, the altar finish. Like, he was yeah. maybe delayed, like, one second and a half or something. You made too many peasants. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember what's next? Uh, I just forgot. Farm on 19. Okay. And I can do just, like, uh, in here. For example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to make it like. Uh, yeah, make it right now, like though it's delayed now. And then footman, yeah, and then peasant. Huh. And then I think you don't need to scout, honestly. Like if you do these builds, it depends on map. Yeah, you should keep your footman with you, I think. Your footman's leaving. Yeah. Oh, you, yeah, you didn't shift the hero, but yeah, that's fine. I guess it's the first time. Remember, move command, move command, the water elemental. Yeah, but yeah. but the thing is, it's just like it, that that I, I was telling you. Yeah. Just like, if I, I keep attacking, and you correct me if I'm wrong, you know? Oh, yeah, it might be correct. Uh, it might be right, if you keep attacking these guys. I just know that sometimes I did yeah. it and I got purged, so... Uh, make one more peasant and one more footman. Remember, keep producing in the meantime. And you, you need your barracks to be a rally point on your hero. Yeah, yeah, it's done already. I see you're getting some sick items like me. Yeah, you can send the peasants. Wait, as soon as they become uh, peasant mode again, you send them back home. All right. And what, what would be the next? Uh, I just go here. Uh, I can see your ping, I... but you can creep like one of the troll berserker camp. But you forgot uh, one peasant. Players Remember, no, I, I just did it. All right. 27. Yeah, now you see you have the wood for teching, but you haven't teched. So your tech is going to be your tech is going to be delayed. So, All right. Yeah, so the macro is very important. Like now your tech is going to be delayed by like by the peon. 10 seconds or something. Yeah, yeah it's like and now you already yeah, have the, you already have the wood for blacksmith. So make it now. Yeah, and then now you, you okay, can go creep that troll berserker camp on the left. Yeah, here. 
I cannot see your ping, so <laughs> even if you say here, I don't uh, know. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. And yeah. I'm not going to make any other. And I have to do more two two farms as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You remember that. That's nice. So make two farms. One of them should be on lab, I think. Ah, uh, okay. And then it's nice to go buy boots here. So after you pick up the items, I like to go buy boots. It will help you a lot. A player's forces are under attack. And then now I think you can already make a lumber mill, probably. And you have a lot of gold. And you can go near his base like I did uh, when I played against Sheik to try and steal the, the the same camp that I did to get level 3. In his base? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it's quite a lot of a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's fine. That uh, It's just like I, I need you to, to train it, so... Yeah, if you're level 2.9 like this, you should not make Water Elemental. Always kill a small creep. You see, you're at 2.9. You could have just killed uh, a right. small apprentice yeah. wizard, get level, and then, then made the Water Elemental. Just like, to have it level 2, yeah. Yeah, yeah you can start right. killing rifles. And then just go creep okay. in the middle, like those uh, Kobold camp, whatever. Kobold tra Taskmaster. Okay. You can queue one more rifle, I think, already. And now this is a stage where it's already kind of nice if you can pick where you're going to make your Arcane Sanctum. So I think under your barracks would be a good spot personally, because then it's safe, it's inside. In here. I don't know, if, ah, you cannot see, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But already, that, that's okay. You can break one of the Cloak of Shadows, like drop it, break it, and then pick up the new item. It's always going to be better. And I think two cloak of, cloak of Shadows. I guess it's similar, to be honest, if you sell it, but yeah. Make sure you break it. Okay, tier 2 about okay. to finish. What do we do? Uh, I don't remember. Mountain King and then Arcane Sanctum. Ah, okay. Where is that peasant going? Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah, keep them. I got, I got, yeah, yeah, I got them on, on second group. and. No, no, you don't creep the expo up until the Mountain King is out. Go back, go back. Yeah, go creep the camp, the other camp in the middle. I'm going to go to the, the, the troll, the berserkers here. Yeah, yeah. So in your Berserker, mind right or, now, or, or you're, yeah, in your mind, you're going to time it perfectly so that you go to the expo when the yeah, NK is out. More, yeah, and I need to do more arms as make well. make the, uh, the Sanctum, I remember, I remember I told you, with two uh, peasants. Very, very important. Yeah. So you have a good amount of woods, so I think you can uh, start rifle range next. Okay. Drop one of the ring or cloak of shadows. The, one of the ring might be better. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, Just break it and then run to your expo. Yeah, your MK is out. So send militia to your expo. Send everything to your expo. How many? How many? How much militia? Just it like, depends uh, on your wood. Right now you have a lot of wood, so five. The more wood you have, the, the the closer to five you can send. If you had very little little wood, maybe you send three. Pull back the archmage. Yeah. Yeah, Milisha is uh -huh. a little bit mistimed. I think it's better if you wait until everything's there, but it's not the end of the world here. Obviously, it's the first time you do it. You have two rifles in the middle of the map, send, rally them to your hero, and then make priests. And then next, you're gonna go creep in the bottom right. Remember, get bash. And then give the boots to Mountain King now. And, all the, and the rings as well. And remember, you start your expo as soon as you can. Yeah, you can get one more rifle as well. Start can I expo. go where? Uh, bottom right. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. But start the expo. This is the priority right now. You can you send your unit on the bottom right, and in the meantime, you start your expo. Yeah, put everything on it. And here, I'm going to creep this camp as well. Yeah, yeah. So you target the Renegade Wizard, you stumble team, and then you pull back Archmage. I'm sorry. Okay. Pull back Archmage, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's done. And then keep making priests and rifles. Forces are under attack. Yeah, and now you make the second barracks and one farm. And you can get the wood upgrade as well. You're gonna need it, you see. Okay. And in the meantime, you need to pay attention to your units. You see, a lightning shield killed one of your rifles. So it's a lot <laughs> yes. of things there, but yeah, yeah. the more you do it, the more you're gonna get used to it. Yeah, yeah, but it's a good uh, Yeah, it's good. And now you can get. Uh, okay, third, third priest. 
make sure those priests are coming out continuously. Yeah. And then rifle, and then you can get plus one if you can afford it. Give the mm, rings to yeah. Mountain King, he's the one who should always have the rings. I just fucked. I just got the all the... Yeah, the, I think the those DM. peasants don't bind them. You don't need to bind them. Even yeah. I sometimes don't bind them. You just send them manually to the expo, they are there, they are creeping, and then they are making the expo. You don't actually need to bind them, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree with you. Yeah, so now you're mining okay. a lot, you see, from your expo. Uh, gets priest training, and then one more rifle, and then creep the shop in the meantime. And remember, the two things you want to buy, you need 400 gold for that, is Invon, plus... Um, in, uh, sorry, Healing Scroll. Healing Scroll plus Invon. So give the rings and the invon to the MK. Give the robe of magi to the archmage. You can drop them on the floor. Maybe sometimes it's easier. And then you pick up with the other hero. But yeah, the, the rings definitely need to be on the MK. And he, I think it's better to have the healing scroll on archmage. Personally, because he's more in the middle of all units. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, keep make like you can break up keep. I think just make two rifles, and then remember what happens after the priest training. You get a sorceress. Now go at the bottom near the golem. Go under the golem spot. Under the. Uh, under the golem spot. Yeah, a little bit under, like near the mer camp, and then you're gonna pull them with one rifle. You know how to do it. Yeah, yeah. And in the meantime, you can make maybe two farms. You see, like you're at 54 out of 66. You wanna go straight to 80 here. Yeah, make water elemental. You need to make water elementals. Like, I know you're doing a lot of stuff right now and it's like you're learning the build, but you need to make water elementals very regularly. Like, you should never have that much mana. It should always feel like you don't have enough mana, basically, because you're making it's, them a lot. It should all of these on, on cooldown, then. Yeah, uh, almost. I mean, it depends. Not necessarily. Pull the priest back. The more you get close to this guy, the more he's gonna slam, yeah. And water elemental next again. And then now you keep making rifles. You already made plus one, right? No. Okay, make a source rest as well. Yeah, it's done already, but uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you make three source rests in a row now. And you can maybe make one peasant on your expo on woods. Because you need a little bit more woods. And then now do the troll berserker camp and then you're going to attack. Yeah, Why did sure. you decide just like to, to do the, the troll camp before the attacking? Uh, because you wanna like you're making so much gold right now. Like you're you're getting so much gold. It's better to attack when you have 80. Like you went and made an expansion, you're getting your plus one attack. Your strong timing is gonna be when you have like 60 plus supply. Right now you have 53. So you need to make rifles non-stop. Like right now you're not producing, you see you have gold. Like your very, very strong timing here, it's going to be when you have uh, 70 supply plus. Because there is no no way he's going to have more than you. Make rifles, yeah. Do You you bind your buildings, right? Yeah, it's all Okay, binded. so w when you have like 400 gold plus or something, you need to be pressing the bind for your building and then queuing rifles. Like even now you have 800, you can just make press rifle button all the time. You need to become in love in the, with this button, you know, just spam rifles. And then now, yeah, just micro whatever. You can kite a little bit, maybe. Use those dispels. Move back the rifles that get injured. Time your healing scroll well. Yeah, if there's four units injured, like now, you can use heal scroll. Make rifles. Press your hotkey and press RR. Make sorceress. Yeah, perfect. You started four. Make sorceress. And it depends what you lose. If you lose some of your uh, priests, you remake them. You could, yeah, use the illusion as well on your MK, I guess. Before the fight, that would have been nice. I don't know what this guy's doing. Necros plus Vagans. With <laughs> Unholy Frenzy on Fiends. And you see, like, it's gonna be very hard for you to go for plus two attack with this build because you're not gonna have the woods. So the goal is really to 
get as close as you can to 80 as possible as quickly as possible and then you dominate basically you never let undead expand i mean this guy just like did whatever he wanted because he doesn't care yeah yeah, yeah. And, he, and it's a odd situation as well because you're telling me what you do it's, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. all the same time yeah yeah but, but he, I, I in a real game anyway. in a real game if undead expand now he's not gonna have enough army to hold your attack because then you would just okay. attack now and kill him because you have so many rifles and okay. then you have a powerful MK as well, so... Okay, we can leave. I'm gonna show you the other replay. Okay. I already already left, but have some lead delay. Okay, the other game is... <coughs> sorry, no, the Isle. Oh, okay. Ready to work. Ready to work. Ready to work. So you're gonna see it's very similar. I make yeah, the altar ready. towards where I'm gonna creep. Perfect, perfect. Ready to work. Job done. Ready to Job work. Done. Ready for action. Always third farm on 19. I go a little bit around here and then I go there. And then now you saw like it's very well timed the militia. So this is something you can practice every game to really get it perfect. And every camp is important to know how to creep it, especially the bigger the camp, the more important. So now in this one, you want to have yeah, everything I... kind of together. You wa summon water elemental, you attack this one, Ogre Magi, because you want the water elemental at the front tanking a lot of the damage. Yeah, okay. So now, and you send the, and you send the, the the militia to the to the top one. Yeah, because this one does the most damage. You see, he has 28 out of 34, 24, 27, and 21, 25. So he's like pretty squishy as well. 475 hit points. 475. Mm -hmm. This one has 600. But uh, against undead, sometimes they will rush you. So maybe ideally, you want to kill the top one first, then maybe the ogre, the ogre magi, because he's the one with the item. And then you'll kill the last Tosker warrior. All right. But you have if enough you damage have anyway to, to kill all three pretty fast. But it's still okay. better to not target them all simultaneously. You want to kill one and one one another. Yeah. You see, I didn't take too much damage, but I still took a bit of damage. And then I'll yeah. 27 is going to be tech. Yeah, on this map, I make the extra footman for sure, because you can creep quite a bit. And on this map, you do this. Then you do the small Merlot camp I just did, and then if you do the camp I'm gonna do now, and you creep this other one with just militia, you can do that as well on Amazonia with the Merlocks. You get level three. Okay. So I scout a little bit to see if it's normal build, because I know he's capable of going Dreadlord as well. I think you can maybe scout after you've crept the first camp with one footman. Because he can't really do anything and kill it, unless he has Dreadlord, and it's nice to know if he has Dreadlord, because you need to play differently against Dreadlord. Okay. Right, then you see I, get, I got to my blacksmith pretty fast when I had the woods. And then six militia to do this camp. You know how to redirect uh, damage, right? If you're creeping with units and you want to pull the aggro. Yeah, just like move uh, them apart. No, no, no. You attack your the... units. You see right now this peasant here is, get, is taking a lot of damage. I moved it back and then now I'm maybe going to attack my own unit. No, I guess I was busy elsewhere. So you see I could have, I could have done attack move. Uh, not attack move, sorry. Attack command on another militia, and then this other militia is the one that's going to be targeted. So okay. you see, that, that wasn't the best execution. And now I have fast level 3. As soon as you have level 3, immediately go and try and play somewhat aggressive. But don't dive too hard, I guess. On this map, I saw that he was gone and I had landing shield, so I was like, oh, I might as well play aggressive. Or like, very aggressive, I mean. I'm trying to kill, like... If I can kill like three acolytes here, I think this is very nice. The fact that I have greater healing also hel helps a lot. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt about it. Okay. Yeah, don't. But in the case that that's just like uh, in that case the the guy doesn't uh, shake shake doesn't just like sealed the the gold mine, but someone that's just like shielded. You have no. Uh, you can press through the. Yeah, you can always pass anyway with uh, footmen. Yeah, yeah. 
and like you can summon water elementals inside as well like it's not too hard so okay yeah, so, so you see i got my lumber mill like always i'm making the arcane sanctum with two peasants that's very very important you you didn't do that yeah yeah and now i did something very stupid like i like to get this item but with uh he's getting healed too much so i end up struggling a lot to creep this yeah hey yeah and then i don't <laughs> yeah did i even get it yeah that was a disaster, and then now that even delays my expo, but not, not too bad. I guess I got uh, mana stone for it. So now I send militia. Ideally, I should have been like just here, not doing this shit. Research. And you see, in this game, I, I feel like I didn't have too much wood, I so I made the wood upgrades even even before I expanded here. Okay. Remember, what I told you here, the one guy, the, the most annoying, is this guy because he's uh, used bloodlust. So I stumbled him, so he can't use bloodlust immediately. Then he only uses it on one creep. And now you see I'm pulling the aggro. I attacked my own unit. To pull the aggro okay. for a bit. Level 2. And then... So when you're creeping the expo like I am right now, you always need to think, where am I going to get level 3? On this map, I think here on the right side is a, is a good spot to do that. Uh, your mic is making a bit of noise, by the way. I don't know if you're moving it or touching it. Uh, no, sorry, no, I'm not, but... Uh... It's making some very loud noise sometimes. Okay, just just let me know and and I I mute it. Okay. Um, yeah. So level three. I'm gonna try and get it here. And then remember, like while you have the expo on the way, and see, like now I'm a little bit worried about if he's gonna come through here. So I put a peasant, and then I end up seeing him coming. So I'm gonna bring back my entire army. Obviously, like you need to defend against that. Okay. And I have, I have mana pendant here, so this is great. Like in terms of Stonebolt, I have so many of them. The third priest just showed up. Sadly, he's gonna get sniped pretty much instantly. But at least I make him TP, and then now I still have my easy expo. And second rack's now finally gonna start. And then after that, I guess now will be around the time you can start plus one, but I don't have that much wood. And you see, I get level three pretty easily. Like now that I was yeah, sure yeah. I would get level 3, I still even brought the Archmage. And you see, usually by this time, Archmage should almost be 4. And you get all of these items that you can use as well. Make sure you have by 5 time, here. Yeah, by the time if you were able to accomplish what, what you're saying, the game is it's almost yours already. No, I mean, you still need to fight and win, but you're doing pretty well because you expanded super fast. And you already got tier 2 units, you got a second hero level 3, almost like... The fastest possible scenario in the game for you to get this hero level 3, basically. Okay. So now I see by Spitlord, I know it's always going to be a very strong push here. But I didn't even check item I should have because he has 2 ring of protection plus 4. So it's plus, plus 8 armor and rune bracer. So this guy is like <laughs> unkillable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I think if I'd realized better, I would not have targeted him that much, but now I ended up targeting him. You see, like, by the way, remember, you have 50 supply, then you make two rifles, plus one source rest. So now I went to 58 immediately. It's always the same. And then now, like, this army is like the normal army, but the, the next three units are going to help me so much. But it, he does a very strong timing because he's a good player. So I send Militia. And on this map, I didn't have the opportunity to go get... Uh, Healing Scroll or Invuln, but at least I got greater healing, so yeah, but I'm gonna have to play without Healing Scroll. And I end up just targeting the Pit Lord a lot, which in retrospect was a mistake, was a mistake yeah. because he's too tanky. He has 11 yeah. armor with Frost Armor, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and I still won! Yeah, just let, yeah. They have just like about uh, three, two or three coil, and that's it. Yeah. If they don't have mana, potion, or, or stone, or anything like that. Yeah, so here I got really low, I end up tipping right here, because it's like the safest position from his attack. And then now, like this is a little bit more advanced play, but... He wants to push my base and kill my peasants, but if I just stand here, it's very hard for him, right? Because my rifles, they shoot from so far. So yeah. I can just stand here, and like this is his vision. You see, like, if he's attacking my pe my peasants, my rifles will be here shooting him. If he comes in, then he's committed to fight. It's very hard for him to actually fight here. So that's the whole point of my repositioning and me staying there. And in the meantime, again, like, I'm producing so much more than him. 
I'm on 54, yeah. he's on 47. I'm still mining you the whole the time from this. Yeah, yeah. So now I see him go back. Let's go back to my vision. I, I can just see like... This was really nice to have sentry wards here because... It made me realize he was just gonna go for another wave. This is very common for undead when they play against this style. Like now I have vision and I know exactly, but to fight. What? What? what yeah. What? What? He's is 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 by there. Um. Maybe some claws, like maybe some more item for pit lord. He bought the rejuvenation potion to get mana back and hit points. But yeah, it's very common for undeads. They fight. They use all mana, and then when they're low, they pull back, and they let statue give th give them back all mana pull and a lot of hit points. Then they attack again. So that's kind of what he's doing. Okay, in that fight that, that you just showed, you you happen to to focus on pit lord, but if if it it wouldn't uh, be the case, what what would, would would you focus there? Just like the the fins, just like stormboat. Uh, yeah, fiend? I think the yeah. fins, but also what's at the front, because it's very hard. Like. You know, I don't want to target the pit lord because it's very hard to kill. But if I target the fiends, my rifles, You're going to expose, yeah. yeah, my rifles are going to get demolished by the cleave of the pit lord. And there is also the abom at the front. So right now, this very second, I think the best thing I could target is this abom because it's in the middle of my army. It's very hard for an abom to run back, and I'm going to kill it pretty fast with this many units. And I'm going to force death coil. And it's, this album is going to take more damage than the Pit Lord. So if I can force multiple Death Coil on it and it still dies, then after that, maybe I can kill the Pit Lord when he has no more Death Coil. Yeah, okay. So but it's see, a, it's a long one. play, yeah. yeah. You have to strategize upon the, the, the Death Coils that Yeah, that the positioning. The him. fights always yeah. start the same. It's attack move, and then you see what's happening. Where are the units? Where is what? Like, if he somehow has this Lich right here right now, obviously I'm going to go for the Lich. But if it's not in the middle of my army, then not. So you see I attack and then every time he turns around I pull back a little bit. I'm waiting for the MK to come back because I actually lost it. And this is the thing, I have so much supply that even without MK I held on and now that he's back I can somewhat fight decently. And now I go for fins and he has barely any more death coil. Yeah, and, and now it's easier to kill all the... And now I have so much. I still got my plus one attack. And it's just too many rifles. It's just microing now. Yeah. You pull everything back that's being attacked as well as you can. I mean, still, it's still gonna have warp and everything's gonna die super fast, so it's not easy, but. No, no. <laughs> you can save even like two rifles with low hit points and they're in the back, and Priest is bringing them back in terms of hit points. It's already like very, very good for you. Perfect. Any questions? Okay. No, no, that's clear. I need to just like uh, write all all that down and yeah. just like practice this a lot. You wanna try <laughs> one more time or? Uh, do do you do, do we have time? Yeah, sure. All right. So, just like uh, okay, you host five again. maybe. Uh, let's do uh, another eye. That's what we just watched. Okay. Todd five. Let's go. Can I go? Yeah. All right. Make me proud. <laughs> no, Ian, you're going to have to 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 to, re, to record all the steps for me as well. To remember all the steps for me as well because I didn't get all the. Uh, I just this, yeah. This it is not should, a good start. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, fine. No. It's yeah, not too yeah, bad. Yeah. Because on this yeah, map the lo the rush distance is so long anyway. It's gonna take very long time to get there. But yeah, the altar should have been on the other yeah. side. So it's a good thing that you can do for routine is that every time you start a game, I know the loading screen is not very long, but focus, focus very hard. Be like, this is my plan. This is why I'm gonna make my buildings. Okay. This is something that if you don't do very well, like you're going to make this kind of mistake a lot because you're not focused enough. So practicing focus, you know, like everybody does it differently. For me, it's during the loading. I tell myself, what am I going to do? Where I put my stuff? 
what are my habits and stuff. And now you can shift rally point your altar on the bottom left of it. Yeah, make your hero, make your hero. Remember altar finish? Yeah. You can shift rally point on the bottom left of the altar and then near the orange camp after that. For your Archmage. Start footman. I need to do a farm here as well. Yeah. Yeah, you made the next peasant a little bit too early, so you delayed your footman now, your second footman. Need to make sure it's as smooth as possible, but it's just a, a matter of practice. Yeah, yeah. And then your footman doesn't go scout, I think. You will scout later after you create the first big camp. So you stay near the orange camp. I think for these camps, use six militia. Send them. And then you can already make the water elemental on the way. Because then you already start regening your mana. So wait until everything's there. Don't attack yet. And water elemental at the front. And then you attack with Dark Mage and then creeps will come in. Yeah, and then you kill the ranged one at the bottom. Make sure you don't take too much damage. Whatever's taking damage, pull it back. Yeah, ideally you would have moved your Archmage closer to the melee ones. So that it's, it's tanking the damage. When you finish this camp, your Archmage should have very little hit points. Or be dead. No, instead you... Yeah, you lost one peasant. Now go creep the small green. You can start tech. Yeah, make peasants. Or like, uh, sorry, uh, footmen. Yeah, you forgot to make for it. And you didn't rally your barracks on your hero. Players' forces are under attack. I start your tech. Yeah, it's already. No, you cancelled it. Yeah. No. Yeah, sorry. And then I think you can take your peasants on wood and press uh, E so they will return the wood and then you can start your uh, blacksmith. Yeah, you can start it now. All right. And then in the meantime, you run to the next camp. Yeah. That would be which one? This one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the then next you, green one. And then with six militia, you're gonna do the small green at the top. And then you see, like, you have two peasants near your blacksmiths that have lost some hit points. It's very good to send those to gold. And then you take two full hit points peasants from the gold and you send them to wood. Yeah. Oh, you did three. I think. Yeah. All right. And then now you take six healthy peasants from woods and you send them to the green at top. Yeah. Right, that one peasant you lost earlier was not ideal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, also we didn't products produce up to yeah. Okay, and I got just got uh, aggressive with the archmage and the and the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, start creeping it. Okay, you can practice the aggro uh, change. Take the peasant. No, 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 you shouldn't have pulled it back. Okay, you see the peasant is being attacked at top? Attack one of your own peasant with it, so you can see. Like the peasant is being attacked right now. Yeah. Try to attack one of your own peasants with it. Not too late. With, oh, yeah, it would uh, have... with, the, one that, the, with the one that was being attacked? Yeah, yeah, you, you attack one of your own peasants for just half a second, and just before you attack, you, you stop. And then, like, it will change the aggro. Okay. All right. Get two farms. Oh. And then you can creep some small camps in the meantime. You see, you have full mana, by the way, on your Archmage. So very important to always use uh, some more water elemental, because you're going to be busy, whether it's creeping or fighting. OK. And then start MK. And because you lost some peasant in start, and I think you forgot to make one more, you as soon as you, those farms finish, you're gonna start a rifle and two peasants, and you can make black uh, lumber mill as well. 
Because you're going to need to wood upgrade this game. Yeah, go creep his x or something. Every time you finish a camp, you should get moving to the next one. There's never a break where like you stand. Okay. And the... I'm going to do it, yeah, here. Make the Arcane Sanctum. Arcane Sanctum, yeah, yeah. And like you you need to practice ta tanking with your water elementals. They should be at the front on almost all creeps. And now the one that was made earlier, the one on the left head. Attack, attack, yeah. attack. Yeah, too late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Arcane Sanctum with two peasants. Yeah, actually, that was kind of mistimed. I think maybe I shouldn't have told you to do this camp because now MK is out. But I guess finish this camp, then you go creep your expo. You don't have wood anyway. Make two more peasants for wood. And then make one rifle and then make one farm. Yeah, you can run to your expo now. With everything. You, did you make wood upgrade already? Uh, no. Yeah, I get it. In this kind of game, and you I see, also... like this is going to happen sometimes. You're going to play a game and because of all that happened, you're going to have this much gold and this much wood. So it's very important that you fix that as soon as you can when it's like that. Okay, in this game, I think you send four militia to Expo. Yeah, yeah, but and I just like... Stumble, the blue back. guy, stumble. Uh, you yeah, should stumble from uh, far away, yeah, so that he doesn't bloodlust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he bloodlusted. And four militia, four militia to Expo and make a priest. Like, making the priest is almost the priority here. This Arcane Sanctum should not stop making priest up until you have three. You can make one more rifle and one more farm, I think. And then now you can go creep for uh, MK level 3 on the left. And send maybe Illusion across the map to scout. And you see your Archmage should have pulled back. You're sending uh, rifles across the map. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think you see your peasants in your main base on wood, it's better if you put them near the lumber mill because then they will have less travel time. So then they actually bring back wood quicker. A good job with the Archmage pulling back. Start the expo and then you can already send one more peasant so you have five. But don't send it as militia, just send it as peasant. More? Uh, okay. More two. It's okay. Sorry? Two more to the... No, no, you want to have five. Five building it and then five mining gold. I think uh, you don't need to have six. Okay, you can go creep the shop now. And I, I do the barracks as well? Yeah. Well done, actually. You remember that. Second racks, yeah. Put your peasants in in the main on the wood near the lumber mill. Now they have to travel too far. Yeah. And then you see, like, now the fact that you have a lot of gold, you can turn that into a positive and buy a lot of stuff at the shop. So you can get invuln, scroll, and maybe boots. You can sell scourge bonus useless for rifles. Yeah, okay. Yeah, make rifle priests. You're forgetting some units uh, in the top left. Yeah, so sell Scourge Bone and get uh, Boots, Healing Scroll, Invuln. Yeah. And then now you can go creep the other camp in the middle. I have no idea why, but my mouse just disconnected. What the fuck? This is new. What happened? My mouse Players disconnected. <laughs> Get the training for a priest. And just uh, plus one as well. Yeah. But you see, like, you would, this whole game has been difficult. Maybe, no, yeah, yeah. Maybe you can it, make it two, two more uh, peasants on wood. And then now you have 800 gold, you can already break up keep, I think. There is no points with this build waiting, because you're getting so much gold anyway. Because you're creeping and you have expand. Are under yeah, yeah. So now you can go creep a lab or something. 
Like you just kind of keep creeping. If he attacks your expo, you TP, you defend. But don't TP too crazy, right? Because if you TP on top of him, if it's undead, he can blow up your Archmage sometimes. Yeah, give me a sec. I don't know why, but my mouse disconnected. You have to just uh, re take it out the USB and do it and, and put it again. God damn it! Alright. I got it somehow. Yeah, so Scroll of the Beast is actually pretty good. When you have this many rifles. But you see, you forgot to make farms. Like, this is super important. You should never have... If you have 800 gold, it's like... You made a big mistake. Yeah, yeah, I, I got that, it, but it, it is just like a... This is not a a good scenario here. Yeah, it's yeah. just like... A, you can I use, am just like... You it, use the it, triple one of illusion. Ah, okay, it's yeah. better, just use it, like... I'm guessing you have plus one, yeah. yeah that's some pretty sick and items, use, actually. And, and I, sh should I uh, use in the Mountain King or... I think it's better, like, I it doesn't matter now, because you're just going to scout with it. If you didn't have full inventory, you just use on Mountain King before you're gonna fight. Yeah, send it. And they just make units. And now, when it's like that, you can go back to the shop so that you can get a second healing scroll, for example. Okay, yeah, I don't even have room to, to do that, but. Yeah, but you're gonna sell stuff. Like, you're, gonna, you're always gonna get rid of like the low tier items. So like, for example, Glove so like of Faced the... on Mountain King, you don't need. Slippers of Agility on Archmage you don't need, and if you have some Claw plus 6, you can maybe sell them as well. It's more important to have one more scroll here. But yeah, you only need one scroll, I guess, mainly, on the Archmage, at least. And then produce more rifles, get two more farms. And if you have the wood, you can get plus 2. And then with plus 2, those rifles, trust me, they go, they go crazy. Yeah, it's already on plus 2. But yeah, get like one more farm. And you really want to spam that rifle button. You want to never want to float uh, gold. You made one more farm. Yeah, it, it's it's on the way. No, no, but you're only making one. You need you need two. Yeah, this one's gonna put you on uh, 72 out of 78. You want to go to 80. Yeah, you can just attack his main base, whatever. Make rifles. I think uh, if you have a lot of gold like this, it's okay to have like four healing scrolls as well. But yeah, like ideally you want to reach 80 supply rifles like two minutes earlier than you did now and then just attack. And then you don't, like I said, you don't need to get crazy with the micro, just pull back the injured units. Like he's not even doing any damage right now, to be honest. Stormbolt stuff, like, you have full mana, yeah, it's well worth, and then time your, you can scroll the beast now, he's on top of you, and then time your scroll well, yeah, pull back your priest, that's low, if a rifle is low, you pull it back as well, yeah, the better your execution of this build is gonna be, the more you're gonna do well on the ladder with it. Against yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, that's all, all, all that I want. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that would be great, man. See, like 77 supply. And you're crushing. And then I think when you have... Uh, let's say you're doing this well in the game, you can start tier 3, I think. Because then you can go for Paladin. And then you can get plus 1 armor as well for your, uh, for your uh, rifles. I think you almost never want to go over 80. So your goal is really to get to 80 and not break that. 
So maybe like one more rifle and one more priest now. But yeah, every time you lose a priest, you want to re replace it. But you always stay on three. You don't get more than three. Unless you're going inner fire. Then if you know that you're going to get inner fire, maybe you can go up to like four or five. But you don't want to get like eight priests. It's useless, I think. It's better to get like so many rifles. And imagine you fight here and then the fight is like very hard. You're losing, it's like using Karyon, you've used, you use your healing scroll already and you have a lot of low rifles. You want to TP and then use a regeneration scroll. So one thing that I forgot to mention is that like when you have like 60 supply, you get shop at your expo, I think. So get a shop at your expo. Yeah. I think it's good to have it at the expo in case you need to TP. Okay. Yeah, now it wasn't close, but sometimes you're gonna have close game with this. Yeah, make the shop at your expo. A player's forces are under attack. Look at your gold. Imagine how many rifles you can make. You can go to a hundred. That's because you expanded so fast, then you crept, so it gave you extra gold as well. Like that mountain king is is so sick. Okay, I think we can leave. Good job. Yeah. I think uh, I'm going to write all all the all the things down that you just yeah. said because for sure you know I'm going to forget all the the little steps, the little nuances that you have to do. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's like a, a bunch of things uh, at the same time. So yeah. I'm going to... The order is very important. It. You know, it's like 27, 27 supply, you take. And then yeah, uh, yeah. after immediately after you take 60 woods, you make the lumber mill. Uh, sorry, the blacksmith. And then after that, you make two farms. And then so after that, farms. Yeah, yeah, after yeah. that, you get lumber mill. And then after that, you get two rifles. And then after that, it's uh, mountain king plus arcane sanctum with two peasants. Like with this, two peasants. Yeah, yeah, this this, can, this small offer, detail yeah. is like a very important one, actually. One yeah, peasant yeah, is yeah. like really bad in comparison. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So that's it for now. Man, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Yeah. You're welcome. Let me know, uh, like save some replays if when you do the build on ladder and stuff, and then we'll have a look next time. And then we'll probably work on the matchup next time. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you, man. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Have dude. a good one. Bye -bye. I'll talk to you later. Take care.